Welcome to Power Up Monday, the Lunch and Learn edition. Today I am live from our central location, Woo as most of our library branches are open Monday starting today. And if any of you missed the Power Up Monday evening session on Monday, September the 28th, we have been able to reschedule it for Monday, October the 26th. So tune in then for Survive and Thrive After Job Loss with Chartered Professional Accountant Jennifer Warren. So. Here we go. My name is Nadine and I am a public services programmer for adult programming at the Hamilton Public Library. Today we have part two of a three part series about Digital Main Street. And in case you missed part one, you can still watch it on HPL's YouTube channel on the Power Up Monday playlist. We will also be posting today's presentation, which is part two, um, to the same YouTube channel and the same YouTube playlist later this week. And part three will be another live event on November 2nd at noon. So mark it on your calendar. And joining us today for part two is Keith Russell and Danielle Fenton. Keith is a business development officer at the Hamilton Business Center. He is also a digital Main Street Digital Service Squad member here in Hamilton, Ontario. And Danielle is the digital Main Street Digital Service Squad member currently working out of the Hamilton Chamber of Commerce. Danielle has been working side by side with small businesses in Hamilton since the start of the Digital Main Street program and shares her expertise in digital marketing to help others grow their digital presence and achieve digital transformation. If you would like to ask either Keith or Danielle any questions during their presentation, please go to the top right of your screen. There you will find the chat icon into which you can type your questions. We're also going to have their email address posted there. If your question isn't covered during the presentation, we'll do our very best to answer them at the end before a short video about Digital Main Street. And like I said, you can also email your questions directly to the presenters, so be sure to note down their contact info. And now we go live to Keith from Digital Main Street. Well, thanks Nadine for the wonderful introduction. Um, as Nadine mentioned, uh, my name is Keith Russell and I'm a Digital Service Squad member as well as a Business Development Officer at the Hamilton Business Centre, also known as the HBC. Um, and like Nadine mentioned, our contact information will be uh, available at the end if you'd like any uh, to follow up with additional questions or if you want to book a consultation. Uh, but in the meantime, if you would like to reach me directly, you can reach me at 905. 540-6400, and I can be reached at digitalmainstreet at hamilton.ca. So for those of you who aren't familiar with the Hamilton Business Center, uh, the Hamilton Business Center, again, also known as the HBC, is your one-stop source for business information, guidance, and professional advice. Uh, again, on starting and running uh, a successful business. Uh, the center offers the following services to businesses, one-on-one uh, -on -one consultations, free, free resources and business advice, uh, review and coaching on business plans, uh, seminars and workshops, as well as self-employment programs such as Summer Company Plus and Starter Company Plus. And hello everyone, my name is Danielle Fenton. Um, as mentioned, I'm the Digital Main Street Digital Service Squad member out of the Hamilton Chamber of Commerce. So after this um, workshop, if you would like to get in contact with me, you can reach me at um, hcc at hamiltonchamber.ca um, or 905 522 1151. Um, just a little bit about the Hamilton Chamber of Commerce. Um, the HCC strengthens, represents, and promotes the voice of business within Hamilton. So what we do is we facilitate connections and collective action to strengthen the economic engine of our community. Um, so the different services that the HCC offers um, to businesses um, are exclusive affinity programs and benefits, regular networking events to help you find the right lead, um, we advocate on your behalf by identifying priorities um, and develop policies with input from our members um, and then cost effective opportunities to advertise and promote your business through the chamber. OK, so today in the webinar, we're going to cover who is Digital Main Street? What is the Digital Transformation Grant Program? 
what are the program objectives? What is the application process? Who is eligible for a digital transformation grant? And what are some eligible and ineligible costs of the grant? And what is the digital service squad and who can access them? So who is Digital Main Street? Um, Digital Main Street is a nonprofit uh, program and service that helps small Main Street businesses achieve digital transformation. The program is built around an online learning platform, structured training programs, and a digital service squad. Digital Main Street was created by the Toronto Association of Business, Business Improvement Areas, TABIA, with direct support from the City of Toronto. Digital Main Street is also supported by a group of strategic part, uh, corporate sponsors, including Google, MasterCard, Rogers, Microsoft, and Shopify. Quick fact, uh, $57 million, which is a ginormous number, and this is the amount of funding Digital Main Street received earlier this year, with uh, approximately broke down to $50 million in federal fund funding through uh, FedDev Ontario, and $7.6 million from the province. And this will help approximately 22,900 businesses across Ontario create and enhance their, uh, their online presence and generate approximately 14,000 jobs for students. So what is the Digital Transformation Grant Program? So this is sometimes best described as a how-to guide and program to help you grow your business uh, the Digital Transformation Grant Program provides businesses with a digital assessment of their current online presence, structured video training series, guidance, and advisory support. Through a partnership with Fed of Ontario and the Province of Ontario, qualifying businesses also have the opportunity to apply for a, a, a $2,500 grant to enable the digital transformation that they've identified their business requires after completing the video training series. So, so again, uh, what topics are covered in the video training? This is a question we get quite often. Um, it's broken down into seven lessons, um, each one need, needing to be completed in, in full before you can uh, then move on to applying for the grant. Uh, but lesson one is creating an online marketing plan for your business. Uh, lesson number two covers effective email marketing strategies. Uh, lesson number three covers how to generate traffic to your online store. Uh, lesson number four covers how to create uh, great engaging content, and they kind of touch on all of the different channels that you can create different types of content on. Uh, lesson five is all about developing a social media plan. Uh, lesson six, specifically on growing your Instagram following. And lesson seven, creating uh, great video content. So what is this plan that we kind of keep mentioning? So the, the digital transformation plan is a required element of the program. And it's just meant to help you guide through the process of identifying the, the areas of interest after watching the video training series that you think you may want to invest in in terms of your business. So the plan has been designed to promote thought about areas you might want to invest in your business with regards to digital transformation, as well as open up any new areas of interest that may not have been a part of uh, your prior plan to completing after completing the program. So while watching the program, you know, you may never have thought of email marketing as a viable way to market your business. And so after watching the video and some of the case studies that go along with the video, you know, that might just spark a little, you know, idea that this this might be a really great way for you to go ahead and start marketing your business and then of course you can allot some of that money towards it. Uh, sections of the digital transformation plan include an audit of your business's digital strengths and weaknesses, an overview of your business goals and what you hope to achieve, objectives and tactics uh, you will implement to help you achieve those goals, a breakdown of the proposed budget for your digital transformation, uh, an action plan to show uh, you have a plan for implementation and measurements and milestones uh, identifying how you plan on measuring success 
with your digital transformation. Now, I should really note real quickly, that is a lot of big words. It's it's really a very, very straightforward plan. Uh, it's simply a Word document that just wants you to outline that you've identified some weaknesses in your businesses and simply how you're going to overcome them. Another quick fact, uh, 285,000. Uh, this is the amount of digital transformation grant funding that Hamilton and the surrounding area, so Ancaster, Stony Creek, Waterdown, Dundas, businesses received during the first iteration of the grant program. So this is the second iteration of the Ontario Grants Program. And that $285,000 equals to about 100 to 115 uh, awarded grants to, to local businesses. And at the same time, uh, we were able to help uh, 300 plus clients in their pursuit of digital transformation. So whatever that meant to them, it could be a, a social media strategy. It could mean they simply needed to start selling their products or services online. So what are the program objectives? Uh, the first objective is to provide small Main Street business owners with an online assessment to direct them through the process of determining their digital needs. Uh, and this is part of the onboarding. So after you sign up to Digital Main Street, the first thing you're presented with is a digital assessment. And it's really just a high level, you know, questions about currently what you're using, uh, what channels you're currently, you know, are you using Facebook, Instagram, do you have a website, etc. Uh, the, the second objective is to provide small Main Street business owners with the digital literacy skills they need to execute their digital transformation by completing an online training course that provides the basics of how technology will transform their, their business for success. So that is the, the video training component to Digital Main Street. Um, and we'll talk a little bit more about that. The third objective uh, provides eligible and approved small, uh, small Main Street business owners with a grant of $2,500 to assist with the execution of the digital transformation plan. So if you, after taking the training, the video training, if you've come to the conclusion that um, you require an e-commerce store uh, and maybe a, 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 so, a full social media strategy, um, you can take a DIY approach or you could take that money and hire a professional to help you with that. Um, it's it's really subjective. There are some, some guidelines that you need to follow, but uh, you, you can use that $2,500 essentially in any way that you've identified you may need to. So what is the application process? I thought taking screenshots of the actual process would be very helpful. It is pretty straightforward. So the first thing you want to do is you just want to simply navigate to digitalmainstreet.ca forward slash Ontario grants. And you'll see these two options that you see on the screen here, Digital Transformation Grant Program or Digital Service Squad Grant Program. You're gonna wanna click on the Digital Transformation Grant Program, the big sign up here now button. The second step is to read the Digital Transformation Grant Program introduction and review the program eligibility criteria. And if you notice going across the, the screen there, it says journey to receive a digital transformation grant. They've really, this time around, Digital Main Street has really tried to make the, the, the process of taking the, 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 the online uh, video learning and applying for the grant very, very easy and seamless. And so the, the journey to receive a digital grant transformation grant up top is basically showing you where you are in your step of the process, just as a visual indicator. Uh, the third step is to complete all levels of the digital assessment, and they've kind of broken that down into five areas. Uh, getting found, building your web presence, engaging your customers, e-commerce, and managing operations. And really, this is just a simple questionnaire pertaining to your business. Uh, it's probably 25 to 30 questions in length. And really, it's all it's trying to do is gauge where you are currently with your digital presence. And then after answering these questions, the assessment will then give you uh, results based on your answers and make suggestion based on, on those answers that you've given the, the questionnaire. And then you can then, you know, if it's determined that um, 
you know, the first question is, is your business registered with Google My Business? Uh, a lot of business owners don't see a value in that and, and don't really know how important that is from a local SEO perspective. Um, that's just, again, it will give you additional resources on Google My Business and point you uh, to where you can actually register. The fourth step is to complete the pre-qualification form and wait for a response. And this response can take up to about 48 hours. And, you know, all this, this pre-qualification form is trying to do is trying to upfront um, discover, you know, if you are ineligible. Um, it's, you know, a, a lot of business owners that weren't eligible um, still went through the process and completed the online training and applied for the grant to only find out they were ineligible at the end. So this is just to help business owners right up front saying, yes, you are eligible or no, you're not. Do you know what I mean? And uh, it saves everybody a little bit of time. Of course, even if you're not eligible for the $2,500 grant, anybody can sign up for free and anybody can take the free online uh, training course. Uh, step five is to watch the digital transformation training video series. Uh, and complete your, your documented digital transformation plan. So as you watch uh, each lesson, the idea is that you're kind of filling out your transformation plan as you go along. And the video series is helping inform your decisions with that plan. Uh, step six is to submit your digital transformation grant application and uh, digital dot in sorry documented digital transformation plan as well as a few other required documents like a business number etc uh, and the great thing is, is the platform is very user friendly and very straightforward um, you simply just upload your files and the few information additional information that it requires and just hit submit uh, step seven, uh, if your application was successful, meaning you were approved for the grant, uh, reporting on spending is required. And that's simply just submitting your receipts uh, and reporting on those KPIs, those key performance indicators that you've outlined in your digital transformation plan. Okay, now something that everyone wants, everyone wants to know is if their business qualifies for the grant. Um, like Keith mentioned, if you do not qualify, there are still tons of free resources through the Digital Main Street website that you can access for free, um, such as the video training um, and taking the digital assessment. Um, so who is el eligible for the DTG grant? Um, you must be a Main Street business that is located in or close to a downtown Main Street a business improvement area or has zoning consistent with the municipality's operating plan defining a central business district. Um, you must be uh, employing one to 10 employees or fewer than 25 employees um, if you are a restaurant, cafe or bar. You must be paying commercial property tax um, commercially assessed either directly or through commercial rent must be a registered business within Ontario and or is incorporated. You must be open for business and operating at the time of application. You cannot be a startup in this case. Um, you cannot be a business supplying digital services to other businesses such as uh, website design, development, uh, SEO or programming. We do have a digital vendor list that you are welcome to join. Um, you can reach out to Keith or I for more information about that. You cannot be a franchise, including those individually owned or operated. You must be a Main Street business that is not a non-for-profit or charitable organization, is not renting office space or on a temporary basis, so month to month. You cannot be in a shared workspace such as a hot desk or a dedicated desk, um, and you cannot be a purely online business. So the digital transformation grants are open to any business that meets the following requirements. You must be owned by, um, and sorry, you must be an Ontario resident operating um, a business within Ontario. Uh, you must be 18 years of age or older at the time of the application, and you must be a Canadian citizen or permanent resident. You also have to have completed the digital transformation um, 
assessment, you must uh, pass the eligibility quiz and complete the online training, and then you must develop and submit a digital transformation plan. So some of the ineligible costs or sorry, um, the eligible costs of the digital transformation grant. So what you can spend your $2,500 on um, is digital marketing. So hiring a consultant, uh, agency or a person to execute digital marketing initiatives. You can hire someone to redesign um, your website or put towards the improvement of an existing website, or you can have someone completely develop a new website for you. Um, hardware must be deemed necessary as determined by OBIA, and the limit for that is $1,000 of your grant um, towards hardware. Um, it's a case-by-case -case basis, so if you have any questions about what would qualify, um, just ask me or Keith, and we'd be happy to go through that. Um, digital training as well is an eligible cost, so any ongoing digital training courses in person and online that you wish to take. Um, graphic design software, productivity software, such as LastPass, Hootsuite, Dropbox, um, social media software, and different security software as well. Now, things that you cannot spend the grant on um, are Microsoft Office, website hosting, domain name renewal, software subscription, um, signage and printing. You cannot use it for logo redesign and rebranding. Um, you cannot use it towards a business owner's salary or an employee salary. You cannot use it for the cost of land, building, or vehicle purchase. Um, in the intangible assets such as goodwill, uh, whether capitalized or expensed, um, and different interest on invested capital bonds, etc. Um, you cannot use it on the, ref the refinancing of an existing debt, um, loss of his loss of investment, bad debts, or any other debts, any fines or penalties, mm -hmm. costs related to litigation, fees for administrators, including payments to any members or officer of the, res the recipient board of directors. You cannot use this grant for hospitality and entertainment costs, um, franchise fees and or fran franchise license costs, lobbyist fees, uh, new capital expenditures, this sounds like a lot, but um, there's a lot of things that you can use the grant on. Um, the ineligible costs are basically just the costs of doing business. Um, so what is the Digital Service Squad? So Keith and I are both Digital Service Squad members within Hamilton. Um, so the Digital Main Street Squad is a team of trained students and or recent graduates. Um, with strong technology and digital marketing skills and experiences that B BIAs can access to provide to their business members. So through the Digital Main Street Squad, businesses receive targeted support to get started, grow their business, um, and grow their digital presence. Um, so some of the things that we can help you with um, can include, but is not limited to, limited to, is a digital assessment of your business's digital li literacy, access to free online video-based digital transformation training program. Um, we can review, update, um, create, and think of best practices for your website. Um, we can also provide you social media support. Um, again, best practices for posting on social media, um, social media advertising and um, we can support and guide um, the best, best ways to use technology to, um, to optimize your business and your web presence. Um, so definitely apply today. And to do that, um, you just go to digitalmainstreet.ca slash Ontario grants, um, and feel free to book a free consultation with Keith and I. Um, you can reach Keith at the Candily link Calendly link below. Um, so calendly.com slash HBC um, dash DSS. And then mine is calendly.com slash HCC um, dash DSS. So um, I think we're going to open the floor to some questions now. Yeah, that's wonderful. Thank you so much, Danielle and Keith. And thank you for joining us today. We're just, I'm just checking with, um, uh, Nancy, um, who's helping me out. Um, the first question we have here is, as a storefront business, 
um, do I need to sell online to apply? Did you want to take it, Danielle? Or um, do you mind taking this one? Quickly? Oh, sure. Yeah, no, absolutely. It's not a, it's not a requirement that you sell online. Um, you know, originally the 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 program was set up around brick and mortar businesses. So whether you sell online, which we highly encourage, especially in, you know in kind of the the environment we're living in today, it's definitely beneficial, but it's not a requirement. And you know, although this isn't really the subject of of the the talk, if you are a small business, uh, home based business, uh, or an artist. Um, Digital Main Street does have another program called Shop Here, which will build a free e-commerce store for you for free. And that was kind of in our, our, our first uh, webinar that we had uh, last month uh, where we talked you know, in depth about that. But again, if, if anybody wants any additional information uh, on that program, feel free to, to reach out to me as well. And what was the best email again to reach either you or Danielle Keith? Absolutely. So just digital main street at hamilton.ca. Oh, that's wonderful. That's fantastic. And um, like you mentioned, part one is already up on the Power Up Monday YouTube playlist on the HPL website. And it is, it does talk really specifically about that shop here program. Um, and then today was more the specifics about the digital service squad. And then someone was asking what part three is going to be about. Um, in November. Um, are you able to speak to that a little bit today just uh, to whet their appetite? Yeah, well, just I'll just touch on it briefly. Um, and so the third the third iteration of, of our of our, our uh, programming uh, webinar will be on future proof. And that is um, for businesses that uh, weren't able to pivot specifically. Um, let's use restaurants as a good example. I'm not picking on restaurants, but you know, restaurants and some some service based businesses in order to pivot because of COVID, they had the ability to say, create an e-commerce you know, store and sell online and offer uh, gift cards and you know, uh, uh, contactless delivery and, and stuff like that. But there were some businesses in particular that just simply couldn't do that. Think of your art galleries, think of your music venues, uh, tons of restrictions around them, you know, being able to, to turn around within a, a few weeks uh, and, and start offering your services online, that wasn't really an option for, for a lot of those uh, types of businesses. So Future Proof is, is very similar to, to what we do where we sit down with business owners and, and look at ways to, you know, you know, to improve their online presence again, however that that may be um, and it's it's a larger team it's it's a team of about six individuals which uh, will sit down with the business owner and take a real deep dive and look at their business and you know in some in some 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 examples they they might have to completely overhaul their business model to, to stay in business and so with that larger team um, you're not just getting a digital marketer you're getting you are getting a digital marketer, but you're also getting uh, like a business and finance person. You're going to get a web UI person. You're going to get, uh, you know, an individual from kind of every aspect of business to come together and say, OK, you know, according to your situation, how can we, you know, how can we look at either pivoting your business so it can stay open or how can we take your existing business and maybe completely change the model of it? Um, so that's that's the gist of it. Um, but once we have the full presentation uh, next month it'll it'll be a little bit more clear that's great then that'll be uh, november the 2nd at noon and i believe you saying you were being joined by um one of your digital service squad members from the innovation factory so that'll be wonderful um and i just had one more question for either you or danielle um somebody was wondering if they go through this whole process but they don't qualify um just to clarify again they can still do the lessons and learn all of that even if they don't qualify for the grant? Yeah, absolutely. The um, Digital Main Street website, it's um, free for anyone to go in, create a business profile. You can go through the digital assessment um, and kind of make your own digital plan for, um, for optimizing your digital presence and growing your business online. Um, there's great video resources. Um, and yeah, I mean, even the digital service squad support, um, we can help you out. Um, but yeah, I would, if you don't qualify, I recommend still taking advantage of the free resources up on that site. That's wonderful. Can, do you mind if I briefly mention something? 
Of sure, course. of course, Keith, go ahead. Awesome. So I, I just really wanted to be crystal clear with everybody. The Digital Service Squad, regardless if you are a home, like if you're a home-based business and you simply need some assistance with, I don't know, say Instagram, for instance, you can still reach out to the Digital Service Squad. The Digital Service Squad really has no boundaries at all. We can help anybody and anybody with their business marketing, no problem at all, free of charge. Um, and we can really touch on, you know, very, very basic things like setting up a Google My Business profile to, um, you know, say for instance, SEO is one of those is one of those topics that a lot of people struggle with. Uh, we can walk you through, you know, the basics of SEO and, you know, so you get better uh, organic uh, results in search engines. Um, we really do touch on on really every subject. Um, so by all means, uh, regardless of, you know, you, you, you uh, qualify for the $2,500 grant or you're, you know, you're just somebody that has a side hustle, we're here to help. That's fantastic. I wanted to just take a moment to thank you, Keith, and you, Danielle, for joining us today for this Power Up Monday Lunch and Learn. Um, it's been a tremendous amount of information. We will be, we have recorded this session when it's available. We will be also posting it to that same uh, Power Up Monday playlist on the YouTube channel. We just wanted to wrap it up in a second here with the uh, quick, um, really entertaining Digital Main Street video. Just didn't know if you or, or Danielle or Keith, you had anything else you wanted to pass on to all the entrepreneurs out there. Yeah, don't don't be shy. Reach out. Uh, there's 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 so many different ways that you can promote yourself online. Um, you know, there's there's tons of online gurus that'll tell you to do this and do that. Um, but uh, I, I encourage everybody to take the time, reach out to us, um, even if it's just to bounce ideas off of us. Sometimes it's not always about uh, creating a full blown strategy. Uh, sometimes you've reached out to a company and are looking to get a quote on something and you're just not familiar with the lingo. I mean, we're here to really walk you through and help you with just about anything you, you need. There you go. Well, that's Definitely. terrific. Even as little. <laughs> sorry, even as little as looking at all your social media pages, your website and giving you that digital audit to go through and kind of give you a framework for areas where you can improve and get started. That's fantastic. And here we're going to let it go to the video now so you can see for yourself some of the wonderful things the Digital Service Squad and Digital Main Street have been able to do.